Friends and Meisters, welcome back to more Danganronpa but too good by despair. Last time we got extremely salty at Kazuichi. And it's time to hang out with Kazuichi for the final time. Go away, traitor. What? No. Go away, traitor. I'm trying to do my very best not to worry, but even I have my limits. I'm hungry. Uh, oh. oh, I heard that. What are you gonna do? Jeez, are you whining already? It's only your second day. It's so jeez of you to do this. That is all I can say, is jeez! Viva killing! You should just stop being stubborn. Hurry up and start the killing already. What do you want? My, my, you don't even have the energy to be mad, hmm? News! Well, I have good news for you guys. You've all lost your drive ever since you guys got here, right? You have the drive of an old man in his 50s. In order for you guys to get your energy back, I'm providing a special service of all my heart. So, everyone, please gather at Group Tower tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. 7 in the morning? There's no alarm clock in this room. How do you expect us to wake up? <laughs> That's your responsibility, so figure it out! By the way, being late is strictly prohibited! Bye -bye. Okay then, goodbye! Uh, service of all your heart, huh? It's no use. My stomach feels so empty, I can't stop thinking about food. If I know Monokuma, there's no way he'll provide that for us. Maybe will give us pictures of food and be like, Ha! Kill someone, you'll get some food! Damn it. I pulled up the thin covers of my futon, desperately trying to ignore my hunger pains, and went to sleep. So, today I interviewed random strangers on the street and asked them, What do you hate about Monokuma? Here are the results! He has a foul mouth, a terrible personality, and he's a rude pig. He's still popular despite all that. He's a lazy ass who doesn't work out or work hard at all, and yet he's more skilled and better than people who do. Not only did God give him both hands, God gave him everything. He always talks crap about others, but nobody really talks crap about him. But he's willing to die to protect the woman he loves. But he can't live without me. He's usually cold towards me, but he takes good care of me when I'm sick. He always slaps me around when he drinks, but afterwards he cries and gently hugs me. I hate that his job changes every time he gets a new job. He's extremely responsive when other people say things like drinks, group dates, and promotions. I hate that my daughter suddenly got curvier after she enrolled in middle school. What are the results? Wobbling. I'm so loved. I don't think I'll be or I'll belong to one person for a while. I wouldn't say loved. I'm starting to feel this strange chill. Well, it's obvious, or it obviously must be from hunger. Wait, what time is it? I sat up much slower than usual, then headed straight to the lounge. That is a good question. Hmm. 6.30 a.m. It's a miracle I was able to wake up. As I recall, it's bad if we don't gather at group, or Grape Tower by 7 a.m. I don't expect much from Monokuma, but I guess it should go for now. You know what? Uh, before we go, maybe we should check on the others. Make sure they're up. Okay, nope, the game won't let us. I tried. I tried. If they don't show up and they get murderized by Monokuma, it's not my fault. Wait, we're in Grape Tower. Ready to want to meet in Grape Tower again? Kane, what are you doing here? Well, I've been thinking about the statue. It's not alive or anything, but has a strange aura. I can't think of it as a regular human aura. This thing might be the most powerful creature on the island. Oh yeah. That sure gets me going. Is this a person? The nameplate says ogre, so isn't this a statue of an ogre? Hmm? Alright! 
Ugh or whatever. It's fine as long as it's strong. Oh, looks like it's almost time. I'll head over to Grape Tower first. She's thinking about fighting the string strongest creature on the island? <laughs> One of the strongest creatures on the planet Earth. Oh yes, and Grape Tower is the actual tower entered from Grape Side, right? I almost forgot about that. Everyone who gathered here had pale faces. Uh, man, I'm tired. I'm seriously so tired. Stop complaining. You're bringing me down. I mean... But I'm exhausted. Not only can we not eat food, but we're being forced to come here so early in the morning. This isn't about just you. We're all getting screwed here. But we're getting screwed the most. Obviously, we're more tired than everyone else. I mean, we had to take the contact elevator to get here from Strawberry House. So we had to walk all the way from Strawberry Hall to the elevator and then walk all the way over here. The longer you walk, the more calories you're burning, so obviously we're more tired than you guys. Stop whining! Heh. <laughs> you're fine. You don't have to worry about getting hungry since you're a robot. <laughs> I'm in a similar situation. I left my charger inside my cottage. What's this? Man, you guys are already starting to brag about how unhealthy you are. Damn it. You've got a lot of nerve coming here, asshole. Now that we have all gathered here so early in the morning, what do you intend to make us do this time? No, no. I just want everyone to be healthy again. Healthy? Hey, hey. You're losing your drive because you're burning rubber down the unhealthy highway, right? <laughs> I'm offering this service so you can all feel healthy again. So, from the safe word, I'd like to make Monokuma Tai Chi part of your daily routine every morning. Monokuma Tai Chi? All right, start the music. No! Make optimal use of Earth's gravity and release yourself from the tension of your conscious self. Three, six, two. Control your breathing slowly and softly. Move as if you're drawing a circle. Ha! Two! Yeah! Naturally, just as you are. This is clearly affecting my hunger. Bye bye, whatever calories we had left. What exactly do we have to do this? Don't dawdle. Why? Huh? <sighs> we sure worked up a good sweat. Staying healthy is definitely super important. Oh fuck off! We did a bunch of pointless exercises thanks to you. Now we're hungrier than ever, asshole. <laughs> I can't move. Guys. The road to good health is not easy. Or is not an easy one. It might be painful, but we'll do this again tomorrow. Unless something big happens, I won't allow any tardiness or absences. Make sure you remember that. That is... You, you intend to keep making us do this. Damn it. Guys, I don't think I can... I'm gonna last till tomorrow. Damn it. Uh, enough already. How much longer is this going to last? This is troubling. Didn't he say until the killing starts? It seems the plausibility of those words is finally starting to affect us. If this persists any longer, it wouldn't surprise me if something really did happen. Damn it! I don't want to die in a place like this. If I'm gonna die in a place like this, I, I might as well. Wait, what are you saying? Calm down. Shut, shut. I can't fucking calm down. Damn it! There's no food. There's no way to escape. If this goes on, everyone's gonna starve to death. Hey. Wait, are you telling us just to wait until we starve to death? I'd rather have that happen to us than have our friends kill each other again. Huh? Do you mean that you'd rather die? Huh? I got it. You're saying that because you're the traitor. What? You're planning to make us all weak so you can kill us all. What are you saying? First of all, I'd be weak too, so that doesn't make sense. Hey! Face up! You've been single getting food from your future foundation buddies, haven't you? I swear you better stop. stop everyone. So making a scene is just going to make us hungrier, so let's calm down for now. You're right. Even if you guys fight, our situation isn't going to change. Appears, you cannot wait to die from impending starvation or wait for someone to kill someone else before that happens. At any rate, it's a rather difficult situation. I... Which is a true hope? I'll just follow what everyone else decides. 
If you're going to choose, you should choo er, you should hurry. The longer we keep waiting, the closer we get to death. <sighs> of course, Nagito. The conversation ended there. It seems nobody had the energy to keep talking or arguing, so we silently left Grape Tower. I'm just standing, but I feel dizzy. My sense of balance is off. It's like I'm in a rocking boat or something. That doesn't mean I should just stay put. If I just leave this matter alone, something bad might happen. It's not like I'm worried, but I should go see how everyone's doing. Free time, and watch, because Yuichi won't fucking hang out with us again. Am I right? Well, we'll find out in a moment, I guess. No one here. No one here. At least not the people I want to see. Oh, there's a little bugger. Let's go see him. Kazuichi, are you hiding from little old Hajime? He walked away. Does he still think I'm a traitor? A hole. We find him again. I am just gonna chase this guy around until he agrees to hang out with us. As if I can find him again. I guess not. He went and hid somewhere where we're not gonna find him. Oh, that's wonderful. At least we can hang out with Sonia, maybe Chiaki, but Chiaki might tell us, no, this isn't the time to hang out again. And we'll find out in just a moment. Sorry, I'm thinking about stuff. Let's play after we get out of here. Yep. Okay, Sonia it is then. It is, if even she will hang out with me. Or if she will even hang out with us anyways. Oh, there she is. Uh, my apologies. Uh, it appears I was staring out into space for a bit. What should I do? Should I invite her to hang out? Yes, we should. Y yes, let us talk about something. Ideally, it'll take our minds off this situation. I spent time talking today with Sonia. We didn't say much. She looked like she didn't have much strength to talk. I probably don't deserve it, but it looks like Sonia and I grew a little closer. Definitely. Let's find something occult for her. Anything, really. <laughs> we got all this food and we're starving. The irony here. Okay, because I know last time we gave her the occult picture frame, which she really did enjoy. There's a few other things we're going to be able to give her, though. Oh, we still have one of these, actually. I can just give her that, then. I want to see if there's anything else she might like. <laughs> Not Nagito's underwear, of course. Well, we'll try giving you the occult picture frame, and we'll try something else next time. My! Quite a trendy item! I have come to like it. Thank you very much, Hajime. By the way, you're really good with words. Of course! Of course, I have done much studying, after all. You speak really fluently. Yes. Yes. I do not know how many times I have seen, I will arrest your eyes. When I arrived in Japan, the first thing I did was run across the... Spain, Zaka? Uh, I see. I don't really understand, though. 
Um, in my opinion, I believe that best Japanese dramas were... The ones aimed at women between the ages of 20 and 34, just before Japan's economic bubble burst. The traininess, energy, and quality entertainment was truly at its zenith during this period. I see. It's no use, I can't keep up with what she's saying. At all. What the heck does she mean by bubble? However... Like all entertainment, Japanese dramas heavily reference their native culture. Because of this, slang expressions were often used, so there are some things foreigners may not understand. Hajime, if you are willing, would you train me? Train? Um, of course, I can teach you some things I understand, but... Thank you very much, um, so for example... When lovers go on a ski trip, they always end up trapped by a blizzard, right? In that situation, what do they call the ritual where they warm themselves under a blanket while naked? I'm pretty sure that's sex, but okay. <laughs> well, that's not really a ritual, it's, um... How should I put it? It's more like a cliché. Oh, is that so? I certainly thought it was something that's known in my country as... Makengo. Huh? Makengo? It's a tradition in my country. According to tradition, lovers cannot become one until they show each other the makengos they have grown. It is too embarrassing, so please do not make me say it. Em embarrassing? What is a makengo anyways? I cannot say! You will get a nosebleed! Is it really that embarrassing? It seems the Novoselic Kingdom is filled with more mysteries than I thought. Um... <laughs> I don't know what we were talking about, but apparently it's something important. After having an awkward conversation with Sonia, I returned to my room. There should still be time for me to move around more freely. But what should I do? More free time, of course. Well, I'll probably hang out with Sonia, but I'm quickly going to save and look for my items to try and determine what I might give her next. And we're back, Meisters. We're just about to hang out with Sonya. I've had a few ideas uh, of what we should give her based on her loving dramas and just Japanese culture in general. What should I do? Should I invite Sonya to hang out? We definitely should. Definitely. What would I like to give her? That is a good question. What I've decided to try and give her is probably, I think, going to be this muffler. Open the treasure box. Sir. May I have this? Thank you very much. You were truly kind. Hajime, there is something I'd like to ask you today. Sure what? Shush! Lower your voice. Do not know who might be listening in? Now then, come closer. No need to worry. As Sonia said that, she walked up to me one step at a time. Oh, she smells so nice. Hajime, do you happen to know a lot about the occult? Huh? Um, not really. Then what about cults? Um, not at all. Huh, I see, you certainly are decep- er, deceptive? I'm finished talking with you, let us disperse for now. Uh, hold on a sec, what in the world were you talking about? Concerned. You were hopeless, since I have already sailed this far. I shall sink you into the ocean. It's not how you say that. Though I understand it is a forbidden interest for a princess, I am quite interested in Freemasonry. Of course, my interest is purely ad academic. I have no intention of a conspiracy. What? <laughs> Conspiring to overthrow the government. But when I think about Freemans or Masonry, my chest begins to hurt. It sounds like she's in However. love. However, it seems not many people understand this feeling of mine. Because of that, I feel quite lonely. Sometimes I feel like I should just cry. Mm, Sonia's hobbies are pretty intense. However, expanding my knowledge like this is the duty of every member of the royal family. And that is why I am interested in the occult, cults, and popular dramas. Hmm, when she puts it like that, it sort of makes sense, but... Hajime, please think about it. Do you not agree that... Dismissing a different set of values due to ignorance is foolish? How cruel! I can agree with that. How many foolish wars have been fought on the basis of that ing er, ignorance? My country is certainly no exception. We still have many th unique traditions that other cultures would not truly understand. Unique traditions, hmm. That reminds me, I think she mentioned one of them before. It was the Makango. You mean the Makango, right? Yes, but that is not the only one. Our country has another tradition in which you are not acknowledged as an adult until you become a Skong? A Skong? However, I think my generation should be objecting to these traditions. 
although it is nice to retain purebred Makungo Makangos and Skongs as a symbol of high status. Auctioning them to the highest bidder goes against the spirit of animal conservation. Wait, they're animals? You do not need to completely end this tradition. I shall simply find new uses for Makangos and Skongs. They grow when they're scared and shrink when angered. I plan to harness the energy they release in this state. Using the knowledge of the past, we shall develop a new energy source for or form our old traditions. Hold on, do strange animals like that really exist in your country? I understand that it may be a difficult path. However, I shall accomplish it by any means. Guiding my people along the right path is the duty of a ruler. Her people must believe she's a wonderful princess if she actually thinks of them like that. I believe that's true too, but in my eyes, Sonia and the Novercella Kingdom are just full of mysteries. Well, yeah. I found a Makango is something completely different. After somewhat bridging the cultural divide between us, I returned to my room. It's no use. I think I've reached my limit. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. 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 This keeps going. This keeps going until I die. What am I thinking? No, if I stay locked up in this place any longer, I'm seriously going to go crazy. Exit. I need to find the exit. Where is it? Where is the exit? Damn it, where the fuck is the exit? Oh, Hajime swore. That's a dozy. The final dead room is a challenge given to you by Headmaster Matakuma. Only those who win the life-threatening game that occurs in this room will be able to reach the Octagon, the fabled holy land where the ultimate weapon sleeps. Now then, if you're feeling heroic and you're willing to risk your life to continue living, you challenge your final dead room. That's it. There's still that place. Nobody has gone inside there yet. That life-threatening game is just another one of Monokuma's lies. It's possible that the exit is on the other side of that door. That's right. That's definitely it. Then I should go. I should go to the final dead room. I have barely any energy left. I can't even run decently. Going there even would be a chore. Now, if we end up dying in the final dead room, all's well because we won't starve to death, which is probably a much more painful way to go. Let me check the pet quickly. Hmm. I screwed up. I don't want him to die. Let's give him my mineral water to help uh, fix that. There you go, Matakuma. That did not bring the despair meter down. No, no. That did not work either. I'm not sure what's going to happen to our Monokuma then. God damn it, despair meter. I completely forgot to take care of the pet after all that worrying. How wonderful of me. Yeah, that despair meter ain't going down. Ideally, it won't die though. I hope. Now that I think about it though, the final dead room was in Strawberry House, so I'll meet you guys over there quickly. We're going to the final dead room. Is it going to be our hope, our salvation, really just a weapon, or could it be food? We'll find out today. As I wobbled and tripped over my own feet, I couldn't help placing both hands on the wall to brace myself. If, if I win the life-threatening game here, I'll be able to go to that octagon place, right? That's, that's where the exit should be. I did it. I finally did it. I finally figured out where the exit is. I can get out with this. I can finally get out. You can't do that. Bad. You shouldn't go in there. You won't find what you're looking for. That's not true, Chiaki. The exit's going to be here. There is no exit. All that's there is a life-threatening game. And if you clear it, you'll probably only obtain a weapon that Monokuma prepared. Do you want the weapon? What are you planning to do once you obtain it? Do you need it? Oh... You had this intense, worried look on your face while you were walking, so I followed you. Looks like I made the right choice. Let's go back, Hajime, okay? Chiaki and I went back to Grape House together. The weaker my body gets, the less sense everything seems to make. Like, we weren't even running as fast as normal. We're on the verge of starving to death, and there's no way to escape. Is it really okay to just lay here and take it, or...? This morning, I couldn't help feeling angry. I said what I said in front of everyone, but... I don't really think that it's okay if we end up starving to death. I need to do something. I need to do something soon. And then, all of a sudden, 
began to feel faint and lost consciousness. Hmm? How long was I asleep? What was that explosion? I regained my consciousness a little after hearing a faint rumble in the distance. What was that sound just now? Was it an earthquake? But I don't feel the ground move. Maybe I'm just confused. As soon as I mumbled that, a feeling of exhaustion that filled me with ambivalence towards everything began to overpower my body. And once again, I sank into the depths of unconsciousness. Emergency! Emergency! I've been gaming all night until the wee hours of the morning, but I decided to go to the convenience store. There, I saw some guy with good looks, fancy clothes, nice shoes, and a shiny, expensive car. Eh, there's no way a guy like that actually exists. He really lives in a rundown apartment, and all he has is his pride just because he doesn't have a stable job or money. He wants to show off so much that he's forcing himself to do that. From morning to noon, he carries around boxes and furniture for his moving job. At night, he works at a bar and serves big mugs of beer. But even with that, he still doesn't have enough money, so he sponges off his parents back home. As that fantasy played in my mind in front of the convenience store, I started to feel bad about myself. So Malakuma's sponging money from his parents at home? My body won't move. This has never happened to me before. I'm awake, but my body feels so heavy that I can't move. Also, it's really cold. Fiercely cold. As if the core of my body is getting numb. But I need to go to Grape Tower. If I don't go to Monokuma's Tai Chi, everyone will suffer. Somehow, I managed to muster what little strength I had left and crawled to bed. What time is it? Though I felt incredibly weak from hunger, I managed to drag my heavy body to the lounge. Don't worry, I brought the man's nut. Maybe it'll give us some strength. We can eat it after all. Ah, it's already five minutes till 7 a.m. I really don't want to waste my energy participating in that activity. But I ignore Monokuma's rule. Everyone will get in trouble, not just me. I don't even have the energy to complain. Let's go to Grape Tower. I don't want to. Tai Chi's exhausting, man. Are we even gonna make it in time? Let me check on my Monokuma. Hello. Ah, oh, Hajime, good morning. Sonia, you seem energetic. <laughs> What's so Amazing. funny? My goodness, Hajime, when did your face become Mont Blanc all of a sudden? She, she's not energetic, she's extremely dangerous. She gone gray gray. Um, just the corner is fine, so may I take a bit of her bite out of you? Um, You'd get a stomach ache. Oh my, now there's an adorable shortcake. What's wrong? I'm not a shortcake, I'm Shiaki. Shiaki, you too? Are you about to head over to Grape Tower? It's almost time. Come on, if you're too slow, we'll be late. But yeah, you're right. Better go. Before Sonya eats one of us. Uh. Alright, I guess that's the end of today's video. If you did enjoy the video, please do leave a like. If you have yet to subscribe to my channel, do so now and join the Academy for more videos just like this one. Friends, Meisters, I'll see you in a future video.